Hi, my name is Juliet Lucas and I'm the writer-director of Goober. Casting was fun. I had an amazing casting director. We went through about 200 different submissions on different websites. Casting is a fun process and definitely very tedious. I started over winter break and I had watched through a lot of self tapes and I narrowed it down to a couple really good actors and presented it to Juliet and we both kind of had time to look over the tapes and realize, yeah, we have some good options. And pulling them out here, actually having in-person rehearsals, because we did a full day of rehearsals before shooting, it was just easy to see the chemistry that they had on screen. As for extras, that process was also really fun because we actually hosted an improv night and the extras all came and like hung out and played improv games and you really got to know these people and they got to know each other and I think it led to them interacting really well on set with one another. And we're we're getting Uber because we uh, have to be careful or something. Look at these party lights. The locations was a long process for mostly actually Lot C, which is kind of funny because it's on Viola's campus. So you would assume that it wouldn't be that hard, but we had like 10 meetings with uh, risk management, and campus safety, and Matt to talk about what we're doing. We had to pick up the lenses the day that we were shooting, and so we had it worked out that uh, we would arrive at Boca at 2, and then we'd be back by around 3, 3.30, and then we would start shooting. Um, we got to Boca around 2, and when we got there, they gave us all the lenses and they were like, everything's all good, um, but we're going to lock the doors because there is a guy around the corner with a machete. And then they were like, here's some LaCroix. So we sat there and drank some LaCroix and unfortunately we're stuck there for about 45 minutes. Um, and so we weren't able to get back to Biola until about 4, 4.30. My favorite day of shooting was Friday because it was the day I was most nervous for. That was when we got all of the car mount stuff. We had the camera on a car mount on our picture car, which was then on a trailer attached to a truck that we were driving around a lot that we had cleared previously. We were bringing in so many different extras. We had so many different effects and stunts going on in the back seat. We had a professional key grip who is in a union come and help us out. His name is Kip, amazing guy. Awesome, dude. He helped us actually rig the camera to the car. I think the car stuff was super cool. <clears throat> and we had Kip. It was just super cool seeing him work and stuff and seeing his insight. All of it coming together, really, like I just gotta like sit back and be like, whoa, this is exactly as I was envisioning it. And I was doing like a little happy dance in the corner. <laughs> you know, there's a lot that can be said about putting a trailer on your truck with a car on that trailer that is on your truck and driving in circles about it, but um, that's really all you can say. You go in circles for about six hours and you're just doing that. I had a good time in the car. Melanie and I are we're having a little cry session in here. We're having a deep talk. We're having a deep okay. talk. Well, yeah. no privacy on the set. No. Yeah. No, I guess no, that's no privacy allowed on these sets. We brought this upon ourselves. You're on the doc team, I mean, like, you of all people should know. I'm gonna put this in. <laughs> I think the most fun part about working on set as a second AD was honestly setting up base camp for the night with all of the extras, all 25 of them. I felt like a little receptionist or something. Like, I had my computer and I had all the little paperwork stuff because I have to have them sign a form. Um, so they would walk in and I'd be like, oh, hello, my name's Kristen. I've been emailing you a ridiculous amount. Thank you so much for responding to them. Funny story, I show up on set and I'm told that one of our extras didn't show up. So. Harrison and Kristen are trying to figure out like who can be the next extra for the party girl and you know I'm just doing someone's makeup and they're like how about Kendra and I turn around and I'm like okay yeah I can do this I can like add this on top of everything else that I'm doing like I can go home I can find a dress. One of our extras is dropped out and the crew needs to step up so I'm stepping up now. It was a really fun moment I think it really reminded me of how the show just goes on. As to how I got through different days I would say copious amount of Welch's. I think those were the primary motivation to uh, keep going forward. I'm not a rich man 
Um, I am, uh, I'm but a humble, lonely, lowly, not lonely. I'm a humble, lowly college student who does not have too much money. And so I love my shoes. About halfway through this semester before production even started, I guess just a hole just ripped right through the sole of my shoes or one of them. And uh, Davey was like, hey, gotta have closed toe shoes on set. And I said, you got it. <laughs> and so I duct taped my shoes. I'm, I do have a new pair of shoes that I did order recently. They're not here yet, but they're, they're in the mail. They're coming. I got new shoes. There's no more duct tape. Saturday into Sunday night, um, we had been watching the weather for a couple of days and then it became pretty clear um, that we were gonna have rain. Uh, percentages kept changing, but especially with my department, everything electrical, uh, it's kind of important to navigate and expect water. And we were, I was, I was a bit concerned. Definitely wanted to make it clear that set was gonna be a little bit more tense that night, uh, which we ended up seeing. I'm a very easygoing person, usually. Tonight, I'm not gonna be, seriously. Um, if I see you doing something that's not safe, not smart, we're done. Because I don't want you to die, genuinely die. We did have a moment where we were questioning, are we going to be able to finish the film? Are we going to be able to keep shooting? But luckily, our crew was incredible and we kept going and we managed to finish all of our scenes for that night. I think keeping the camera safe was like <laughs> the most stressful thing. We put trash bags over it and easy ups over it. Lots of people helped with it. Uh, when we knew there was going to be rain, I basically did like 15 minutes of research and was like, okay, which lights can like for sure run in the rain, which can't. And it was basically just like mixed information is what I was getting. I just sent out a text and was like, yo, everybody bring umbrellas because uh, we were just going to jerry rig them over the Joker bugs, which we did. So they looked, I, th I thought they looked kind of funny, kind of cute. Yeah, they Looks like he's carrying a jellyfish. <laughs> but it worked, and they stayed dry. Uh, it was the generator op, so just making sure that the generator was running and running well <laughs> at all times, <laughs> uh, as well as kind of acting as the sound utility in that role uh, and keeping everyone away from the generator. Because uh, sometimes we had the entire generator in a tent fully enclosed, and it just became a carbon monoxide hotbox that only Josiah and I should even get near. Should I not say hotbox? <laughs> <laughs> I think one of my favorite projects to work on on this film was making the gravestone and you know I went through lots of different phases of figuring out okay how are we going to make this gravestone and how do we make it look realistic do we use foam do we use wood I just went with my gut and my instincts I think that is so important when you're in the filmmaking world Trevor finding the snails was probably the biggest highlight of of being on set this man it was raining and it was like kind of like sprinkling after it had flooded, you know? And it was crazy because we looked at all the people on on, on set and we were like, dang, it's like really like, it's, it's not a great environment, but you know, it is what it is. And then Trevor with his bright smiles just walks up to me with two fat snails. They're like the size of my thumbs. And I was just like, what is happening here? And he just presents it to me and it's like, Look, look at this. And it's as if like, he was so proud of his children or something like that. The snails, I forgot about those. Those felt like a fever dream. I found snails on set. I was out of my mind. I found two snails and I was showing everybody. And then I set them free because that's why, I, I, what, would I, what would I do with a snail? I found these two snails on set. Pretty cool. See you later. <laughs> I just thought like, it just made me think about Trevor, and like honestly, it has nothing really anything to do with the snails, but has more to do with Trevor and what kind of guy he is. And he's such a stand-up guy when it comes to being on set. Everything that he does, he he's so good at flipping the atmosphere to making it so much more brighter. You're a grip. You're nothing but a grip. Yeah. Mhm. Mm so the next time you walk over here, you're gonna have to skedaddle your booty over there. Just like that. Look at you go. <laughs> we didn't even move to our second location until I believe four or five in the morning. And we got there and we ended up getting the second half of it shot as well. There was a bench scene that we shot and I really wanted to get the kind of intimacy between Carter and Phoebe. And I feel like I was able to kind of 
have this moment of connection with them as I was just listening to their voices, listening to their stories. And so that was a really cool moment. Wrapping Saturday felt pretty good. Mm -hmm. Cause like, it was like, oh, we did it. And I just remember that small skeleton crew of us looking and just watching the sunrise over the middle school that we were shooting behind. And we were like, oh, that's really nice. I think when we were filming in the house, I loved, I loved that day because that was really fun. A lot of my production design actually got to come together. You know, we had a lot to set up. It was just really rewarding to see, you know, that's where your mood boards came in and creating the house and the feel for it and then seeing it come to life was just really rewarding. We had a six by up on two combo stands and that thing was stacked with sandbags and the last night was really windy, and I remember looking over, and the wind was blowing, and this six by became like a pirate flag, like sail in the wind, and it was, it wanted to take off. And so I was like, oh my goodness. And I ran, and I got it. I'm super proud of that, because I felt like I saved the day in that moment. It's, it's kind of hard being a hero like me, and <laughs> super strong and also like really humble and good looking too, I don't know. When I edit, like I usually have like a upbeat song or like a celebration song I usually have, like if I finish a scene or an entire, like anything I, that I can celebrate during the edit, I'm like, all right, I'm putting my celebration song on and I just play it, I have like a mini two minute break of just listening to it and sing along to it. And then I go back into that edit, basically. A song called I'm Not Fine. Once we have all the sound mixed and edited for um, post-production, it's my role to take all that and clean up all the dialogue. It's my role to mix the Foley. If we have people come in for ADR, mix in the soundtrack to the film and get the um, audio from kind of a messy state to kind of a final polished block of audio that's fit, that's mixed, that's compressed, that's all this stuff. I'm most excited to do Foley. I just am noticing like, oh, I'll get to just interact with the car a bit more, like get more sound effects from that. I'm listening to playback. <laughs> yeah, so my expectations going into biofilm were nothing because I, I actually didn't even know I was signing up for biofilm. I thought pre-production and production were just <laughs> me either. Yeah, Me either. I, I, I didn't know I didn't know this class was biofilm, um, but I found out. So here we are. The people that I met on this set, I'm, I'm really glad that I was able to make all those connections. My job is to be a skeptic and a contrarian at all times. Where's that gotten you? Apparently I'm the best AD around. Oh, wow. Oh. I'm just kidding, I love you guys. And I got to connect with so many different people. Um, I would have never thought I would have, you know, actually met, but thanks to Goober, this all happened. That's the DP. I think getting to understand everyone's dynamic and getting to work with a new group of people is something that I am always a little bit hesitant about. But we played a lot of like games on the front half of class to get to know one another better. And I think that really helped the dynamic on set. Like Josiah Brimage, I didn't know him like at all coming into Biola Film. So when I got to actually meet him and then work with him, I saw what his work ethic was and what his style of work was, and it was incredible. Down to the right. <laughs> Oh, that feels good. Two flat head screwdriver, different pliers, and then all my fun little clips. JoJo's, don't steal. And there's so many people, like countless people, that I just did not know before the class that I will definitely be working with again in the future. As you come into a classroom of people, for me, I knew maybe four or five people in the class already, but most of them were new faces. For me, I was able to find a lot of people that I work with really well within the class that I never would have met without Viola Film. Um, it was definitely challenging at times because you're meeting new people for the first time and then you're working with them so intensely for four months straight. But I think overall it was a fantastic experience and I loved the relationships that came out of it and the people that in January I didn't know their name and now we're working every day together and we're pulling off these car rigs and these downtown LA locations that I never would have dreamed would have been possible before seeing the qualifications of our team. Goober 2022, we gonna do this, yes sir. Nice.